All right, guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at Apple's all-new fine woven case. If you guys didn't see the event, they basically replaced all of their leather accessories with this fine woven material. So got rid of all the leather, kind of made it out of like a cloth material. So we'll take a look at it. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see what this looked like and kind of how it fit on the phone and stuff like that. So taking a look at the front, the packaging is basically the same as the leather case. You get a picture on the front, 15 Pro Max, fine woven case with MagSafe. And then on the back, not too much. So we'll pop the case out of the box here. Kind of put everything aside. You do get some paperwork underneath of here, but we're not going to take a look at that. We're here for the case. So taking a look at the back of the fine woven case, this is going to be the black color. A lot like the silicone, their black is almost like a dark navy blue. Um, and then kind of how it feels. I mean, it definitely feels soft. You can tell it's a cloth, you know, woven material. It almost sounds like a, a windbreaker. I don't know if you guys can hear that there. It almost sounds like a windbreaker type um, material there, but it is very soft. You get an Apple logo on the back. You do get a lip for camera protection. And then on the side, you have your floating volume or your floating power button there. On the opposite side, you have your floating volume up and down as well as the action button. And then on the bottom, you get your charger port cutout and your speaker cutouts. And this material on the sides, I thought it was like a rubber or a silicone, but it's actually even finer woven material than the back there. So if you look very close and it is hard to see on camera, but it's very, very fine material here to make the sides out of. So just an interesting point on the inside, you're going to have more of that same material that's on the back on the inside of the case here. But unlike the silicone case, the sides, like the frame of the phone is not going to be covered in any type of soft material. It's going to be the same thing that the outer frame is made of there. And then you have your MagSafe magnet. So we'll grab the phone and see how it fits in here. I don't believe there's a MagSafe animation. Oh, there actually is. There's a MagSafe animation for the fine woven. I wasn't aware of that. I feel like I've popped this case on at least three or four times and I got no animation. So it gave an animation now. So you do get that animation. Taking a look at the back, this is what the black fine woven is going to look like on the white titanium there. So pretty clean look. Like I said, you will get a lip around the lenses there, so they will be protected. As far as the screen protection goes, you get a very small lip that goes around. So, I mean, if you set it down on its face, you should be good to go. But if it takes a drop, it's probably going to do some damage. Um, volume up and down, very clicky, definitely tactile. You shouldn't have any issues. The action button there. I kind of like how we have a fourth button now to talk about. So action button is very clicky. On the opposite side, we got our power button. Again, same as the volume up and down. And then your charger port cutout, USB-C is good to go. And your speaker cutouts are all set. So everything's good there. As far as how it fits on the phone, I mean, just like every year, the Apple cases are going to fit the best. So you're not going to get any pulling, budging, movement, anything like that. And popping the corners off here, the top right, you get a nice snap. The other side here, I really, I can't get that corner off. So very tight fit. I can't even pop that corner off. And then on the bottom, you get kind of like a thud on both corners there. So the fit's going to be perfect. Um, looking at the side here, it's very thin. So you're not going to get any bulk added onto the phone itself. Um, and as far as how it feels in the hand, I think it's pretty comfortable. It's very grippy. The sides of uh, this case here is very grippy. So it's definitely not going to be sliding out of your hand very easily. And like I said, this material on the back is very soft. I'm curious to see how it holds up over time. So I'm thinking about maybe running this for a couple weeks or a month or two or something like that, kind of on and off or maybe straight through just to see how it holds up. Um, I know I did see a few photos and stuff where scratching the back of the case does leave permanent marks. So just something to be aware of. This material does seem like it's going to get pretty beat up over time um, and the sides of the case. I mean, I feel like this is going to look pretty bad after a few months, but we'll see. Maybe I'll run it for a little while. I definitely still would have preferred the leather case over this, but you know, it kind of is what it is. So we'll bring over the leather wallet here, slap it onto the back, registers right away, and you get a pretty decent hold. So that's not going to be sliding around anywhere. And then we'll bring the battery pack over here. Should start charging right away for us. Might be dead, but it'll start charging right away for you and you get a pretty strong hold, actually a really strong hold. I feel like this material is gonna be very grippy with MagSafe accessories and stuff. So battery packs, car mounts, you know, all those good things, you should be good with this. You're not gonna have, you know, any issues of it sliding off. Apple does say that along with the leather, 
um, not so much the silicone, but the old leather cases, you will start to see a MagSafe imprint on the back of this material. So you definitely will start to see some wear and tear, um, and we'll see how it holds up over time. So they have a few different color choices. Like I said, this is the black. They have like four or five other colors if you guys want to check it out for yourself. Personally, for 60 bucks, I don't think it's worth it. Like I said, I think it's going to get beat up over time and not look very good, whereas a leather patinas, even if Apple's leather didn't really patina very well, um, it still adds some character to it. I think the leather cases definitely will fare better over time than these fine woven, but we will see. I will, you know, use it for a little bit and check back in with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, turn on that bell, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.